Welcome students. Today we will solve second problem on kinetics of particles based on work energy principle. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. So let us read that statement first. Two blocks are joined by an inextensible cable as shown. If the system is released from rest, determine the velocity of block A after it has moved 2 meters. Assume that the coefficient of kinetic friction between block A and plane is 0.25 and the pulley is weightless and frictionless. So we are given one situation over here. We are given two blocks. One is of 200 kg named as block A. Second block is of 300 kg named as block B. These two blocks are joined by an inextensible cable and it is mentioned that this system is released from rest. And we have to find the velocity of block A after it has moved by 2 meters. And we are given coefficient of kinetic friction as 0.25. It is also mentioned that pulley is weightless and frictionless. So in order to solve this problem, first of all, we have to see how many bodies are there which are in motion in this situation. So we have two blocks which are in motion. Block B is moving in downward direction. Block A is moving towards right. So that means we have to construct their individual free bodies. So let us first construct free body of block A. So for that we have to first represent that block. And the first force which we have to represent in the free body of block A will be its weight. That will act in downward direction. The mass of the block A is given to us as 200 kg. So we have to multiply that by 9.81 to get its weight. Which will be equal to 1962 newtons. And we have shown that weight in downward direction in the free body of block A. After that, we have to show the normal pressure acting on block A from the ground. Let us call that as N. After these two forces, we have to show the tension also acting in this cable towards right. So let us call that tension as T. In this problem, it is mentioned that there is a friction between block A and the horizontal surface. And we know block A is moving towards right, so we have to show that friction force towards left. So let us call that as FA. So these are the forces acting on block A. Now let us show its two positions. First position shows us the initial position of block A when the system was at rest. And second position represents the final position of block A after it has moved a distance of 2 meters. Now we have to find the velocity of block A after it has moved 2 meters. And we know at position 1 the velocity of the block A is 0. And at position 2 we have to find that velocity. Now let us find initial kinetic energy of block A. So for that we have to consider position 1 and we know at position 1 velocity of block A is 0. That means its kinetic energy will also be 0. Now we will consider second position of the block A. And we know at second position of block A the velocity is V2 that we have to find. So that means kinetic energy of the block A which is the final kinetic energy at position 2 will be equal to half mv2 square. We know the mass of the block A as 200 kilograms. So let us put that value. So equation will be half into 200 into v2 square. Or this will be equal to 100 v2 square. Now we will find work done on this block A. So let us first see what forces are doing work on this block A. There are two forces acting on this block A in the direction of motion. One is the tension in the string, second is the frictional force. Tension in the string is acting in the direction of motion, that means it will do positive work done. 
friction force is acting opposite to the motion of block A that means it will do negative work done so it means work done on block A from position 1 to position 2 will be equal to T minus 2 minus FA into 2 where 2 is the distance travelled between position 1 and position 2 and we have taken work done because of tension positive because it is towards the motion and we have taken work done because of frictional force negative because it is against the motion. So this equation will further reduce to 2t minus mu kn into 2. So we have replaced frictional force by mu n. Now we know value of mu k as 0.25 which is given in the question. And we know value of n also which is equal to the weight of the block 1962. So let us put the value of mu and n. So this equation will reduce to 2t minus 0 0.25 into 1962 into 2. This equation will further reduce to 2t minus 981. Now we will apply work energy principle which says initial kinetic energy of the system plus work done on the system will be equal to final kinetic energy of the system. So let us put these values. So we will get 0 plus 2t minus 981 is equal to 100v2 square. So in this equation we have two unknowns v2 and t. So we cannot solve this equation. So let us call this equation as equation number 1 for time being. Now we will work on the free body of block B. So let us draw free body of block B. In the free body of block B, first of all we have to represent its weight which will act in downward direction. We are given mass of the block B as 300. So let us multiply that by 9.81 to get its weight which will act in downward direction in the free body of block B. Apart from its weight, we have to represent tension in the string. So let us call that as T. And we know this block B is moving in downward direction. So let us represent its two positions. We know the first position is related to its rest stage and second position is after block covers 2 meter distance from the first position. And we know at position 1 its velocity is 0 and at position 2 its velocity is V2 which we have to find. So let us apply work energy principle to block B also. So for that first of all we have to find initial kinetic energy of block B. So we will say position 1 of block B and at that position we know velocity of block is 0. So initial kinetic energy of block B will be 0. Now we will find the final kinetic energy of block B that will be at position 2. So at position 2 velocity is V2 which is unknown to us. So it means final kinetic energy of block B will be equal to half m V2 square where mass of the block B is 300 kg so let us replace m by 300 so this equation will further reduce to 150 V2 square next we will find work done on the block B and that work done will be because of the weight and tension in the string weight is acting in the direction of the motion of block B so work done because of weight will be positive Tension is acting against the direction of the motion of block B. So work done because of tension will be negative. So it means work done on block B from stage 1 to stage 2. That is U12 will be equal to minus T into 2 plus 2943 into 2. So this will further reduce to minus 2T plus 5886. Now we will apply work energy principle. That means initial kinetic energy of the system plus work done on the system is equal to final kinetic energy of the system. So let us put these values. So we will get minus 2t plus 5886 is equal to 150 v2 square. So in this equation we have two unknowns t and v2. So we will call this as equation number 2. So we have got two equations. Equation number 1 obtained from the free body of block A and equation number 2 obtained from free body of block B. And in both the equations we have two unknowns T and V2.
it means we can solve these two equations to get the unknowns so we will say add equation 1 and 2 so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so when you will add these two 2t two will cancel out and from here we will get 4905 is equal to 250 v2 square so this will give us the velocity of the block at position 2 that is the velocity of block a after it has moved 2 meters which is 4.42 meter per second i hope this answer is clear to you thank you very much